What's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? Today, I believe, yep, it is October 8th, 2024. Hope everyone is well. This is just an update on what's going on with the Lion Fire. Seems like some good news and a little bit of, you know, nervous news, but for the most part, good news. So let's, let's get to it. Right now we are looking at, as always, my favorite view. There's Snow Summit right there. Um, let's see here. Okay, so Seven Oaks back down to evacuation warning instead of a mandatory evacuation, which is great. And also some amazing news, you guys. Highway 38 is open from top to bottom. So get in your cars and get the heck up here. We want to see you guys up here. We want to see these hotels full. We want to see these restaurants full. Um, we depend on you guys. So please, please, please come up here because selfishly, I don't want to move back down the mountain. So without you guys coming up here, uh, you know, it's important you guys come up here. So anyway, the most current in information was put out two hours ago. So along Siberian Creek, crews successfully controlled hotspots with the help of aerial resources. Aircraft were used to extinguish hotspots in the Miles Creek area at the northern Santa Ana River drainage. The fire line is continuing to hold in this area. Firefighters continue construction dozer lines and conducting backhaul operations. In Angeles Oaks, a green island continues to burn safely with crews continuing cleanup and suppression repair. Demobilization of some crews and resources will be happening over the next few days. Crews that will remain will be focused on suppression repair as well as the direct and indirect line construction. The north and south repair groups are focused on the road grading and clearing operations. Winds have become more active with gusts reaching up to 25 miles per hour. Wind patterns will remain variable throughout the day with particular gust potential near the Big Bear Airport. The forecast indicates temperatures will drop by 5 degrees in the coming days, but the wind remains <laughs> the primary concern for the fire activity. <laughs> Inaccessible areas at the, at, at the confluence of Bear and Siberia Creeks are susceptible to slope reversals due to the continuing dry, hot weather patterns. Fire conditions remain challenging as the energy release component, ERC, has reached the 95th percentile, indicating that the fire is primed for heightened activity. So, as you guys heard, there's good news and a little nervous news, but they're expecting, you know, possibly it to get a little out of control in some areas, um, but obviously they're dozing a whole, whole bunch of areas in preparation for this is what I got from that. So I'm not worried about it. These folks know exactly what they're doing. The fire t uh, has burned 43,978 acres, and it's at 87% containment. I saw something else from our friend Gabriel Magana on the channel that says it's at 89%. But I'm I'm reading the uh, current news, um, so maybe his was a little uh, more current. But yeah, we got a bunch of people out here fishing. It's, guys, it's, I mean, look at this, look at this day, look at, look at the sky. Don't stare into that sun, though, but look at the sky. It is an absolutely perfect day up here. Our town receives over 300 days of sunshine every single year. Um, and, can somebody tell me if, if I'm wrong about this, but for, you know, for many, many years, the average snowfall for this town showed as about 72 inches. Now it's showing like just over a hundred inches for our average snowfall. So if somebody could help me out with that, I would really appreciate it. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a walk over here. After this whole fire situation, my wife and I have a few 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 more hotel reviews that we're going to be posting on the channel. One of them is uh, the Snow Lake Lodge. Another one we're staying at is uh, Sierra Blue Resort in the village. 
and the next one is another resort that we've already stayed at but we're staying in one of their two bedroom villas instead of the three bedroom villa that's my nicest most favorite classiest place up here it's called blue green resorts the club at the village and uh, it is by far you guys for those of you who like the nicer things in life that's where you want to stay when you come up here and it's perfectly located right in the village but yeah I do have a playlist it's it's lodging in Big Bear I believe is the name of the playlist and I think I might have 20 plus entries in there um, I think there's only maybe one or two spots where we've put two videos of the same place but not the same room so when we stay somewhere if we stay in a different room we'll do the whole review again but I want you guys to be able to see what, what to expect up here because you know you guys take time off of work which costs you money all the gas to get up here all the money you spend when you get up here I just want to make sure that you're not just uh, throwing money to the wind I want to make sure you're getting out of this what you expect so yeah check out my lodging playlist but it is pretty darn windy up here right now I don't know if you guys can really see but yeah it's really really windy up here Thanks again for all the support. Um, I, I'm probably going to be doing these updates every other day now because there's just not, you know, much to update. Um, obviously, if things get out of control again, of course, I will let you guys know right away. But as things keep on getting better and better, just know that the every other day updates is a good thing. Oh my gosh. Look guys, your own little private beach spot. Throw down a towel right there and just be chilling like villains. Yeah, anybody ever have any questions about anything, especially our weather up here and as I said, our lodging and things to do, don't hesitate to, to ask. I'm always here for you guys. As I said at the beginning of the video, we need you guys to come up here need you guys desperately this is one of the only bastions of uh, of just peace and harmony left in Southern California it's still for the most part really clean and uh, yeah just a good place Thank you again for all the support. Thank you guys again for wanting me to be doing these updates. I can't believe how, how many of you have wanted me to continue doing this. So that's really, really cool. I appreciate it. I probably would have stopped a long time ago. But yeah, you guys take care. I will talk with you all later. I'll see you in two days. Peace out and uh, fingers crossed for continued even better news.